Hello you guys, how's everybody doing today? Today I'm going to show you how to configure the STB emulator. For those of you who don't know what an STB emulator is, it's basically a set top box emulator. In other words, it imitates one of those satellite boxes with the satellite dish on top of the roof. So it gives you the same experience as if you were using a satellite box with the dish on top of your roof but instead of having the dish on top of your roof we're going to be using it through IPTV through the internet protocol television through the web so you get the same experience that you will get from satellite and the satellite channels but through the internet here on Android you're going to look on the Play Store for STB emulator you're going to type STB emulator and then on the Google Play Store, you're gonna see these two right here. One is the free version, and the other one is the pro version. I, I don't know what the difference is between the two. I haven't used the pro one yet, which is $5.21, $5.21, but the free one is working just fine. And and it basically, I think it does the same, I don't know. You guys, if you ever buy this one, or anybody who has ever bought this one, would tell me if there's really something different and and you know among the two all right so you click on the free one and then you click on install and then you install it just like you would install any other application from the Play Store on Android you wait for it to uh, finish the installation process and then what we do is we're gonna open the application okay let's go ahead and open it and once we're here what is the channels that are charging right now the service that is charging is a demo account uh, a demo service but we're gonna edit that demo service and we have we're gonna edit it and and we're gonna have all of the channels the 840 channels that IPTV stalker has right now we're gonna have them working here um, on this STB emulator all right let's just give it a second there to finish what it's doing and basically here you can go uh, to entertainment, children, cinema, science, sports, and all of those sections. You can go to all, but again, you only have the channels here that they give you with the demo version, which is like 12 channels. So we want to have all of the channels working. For that, we're going to go to the settings. How do you access the setting? Right here on the top right hand corner. And we're going to go to settings. And here is where the magic happens. Here we have to click where it says profiles and you're gonna see the demo portal already pre-installed, right? But it only has 12 channels like I show you. So we wanna have all of the channels. So you're gonna click on that same portal. One of the mistakes that a lot of people make is deleting this portal and adding a portal, which you can do. But why delete it if you have already most of the information already in here for you? All you have to do is tweak a couple of numbers and you're good to go. So we're going to use the same portal, the same demo portal that they're giving us. And we're going to alter the numbers a little bit in order to make it work for us. Okay, so you click it. Here you can change the name. If you don't like it to be demo portal, then let's change it to something else. For example whatever you want it to be solo man okay just to name it anything and then on the STB model it has to be the Mac 250 that's the one we're emulating and the Mac 250 is usually if not a hundred percent of the time already pre-selected by default so we're gonna leave that as it is All right then we're gonna portal settings and here you're gonna have this address right here from IPTV stalker we're gonna take that off and we're gonna put 11 that private I'm sorry 
11.iptv private server dot tv all right 11.iptv private server dot tv you're gonna click ok and that's all you're gonna do in this section we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to the mac address now you have to have a working mac address IPTV Stalker or the STB emulator or none of these will work without a working MAC address. You can make up one if you want. I don't care. If you have a working one already, use it. If you have already paid a donation for one, you can use it here. So use the MAC that you already have, your existing one. Or you can make up one, you know, if you're lucky enough to hit a number because it's pretty difficult but I have done it and a lot of people have emailed me telling me and showing me the numbers that they've gotten so it is possible okay but anyways if you have one you're gonna enter it here this is just a demo that I'm entering here a demo number which works this is an original number that works, but it will no longer work after this video because you know that every time I upload a video with a MAC address, then Stalker brings it down automatically because they, they'd be watching my videos too, just like you uh, guys are watching it right now. So they're not dumb. Okay, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I have to enter a working MAC address to show you all of the channels working and, and all of that. So we're going to enter that. We're going to click on OK. The serial number can stay like that, a bunch of zeros, that's fine. And the IP address can stay just like that. That's the reason why I don't like to delete this profile and create a new one. Because then I have created new ones with different IP addresses and messing around with serial numbers and putting the serial numbers that come on the bottom of boxes and stuff. It, it just didn't work. So like this, it just works flawlessly. After you have all that, I'm going to move over to the TV where I have an Android uh, TV box and show you the actual, the real thing right there on the box instead of showing it to you right here on the computer emulator, okay? The same exact information that I enter here, I entered it there and, and it, it just looks beautiful, guys. It, it looks like real, like real, well, after all, it's real satellite television, but it, it really, it, the emulator is like the real deal you know so let's move over to the TV and show you how it looks there okay here we are at the TV let's go to all apps then let's select the STB emulator and give it a second to open this is what has to show after you did the whole configuration this is what you actually have to see this blue screen with the little bar in the middle filling up if you don't see that you did something wrong so this is what you should be seeing if everything is correct and after that it's going to load up all of the uh, categories and all of the list of channels I'll show it to you okay it's almost done and here you can select the channel just like IPTV Stalker through information entertainment children cinema and so forth but everybody likes to go to all and here you will see the 840 channels that Stalker has right now. Uh, they added some channels, by the way. They had like 700 and some. And now they have many, many more. And here you just click on a channel and you play it. You can play it in the full screen uh, if you want. And it just looks pretty cool. Alrighty. There you have it. Let me play another channel for you and this is basically the emulator this is how it works if you have any comments if you have anything to say please leave it on the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that way you keep yourself updated with everything that goes on in IPTV, Cody, XBMC, new repos, new add-ons and as always thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one